Cycling, hiking, and water skiing are just some of April Schumacher's favorite things. But the 53-year-old Milwaukee woman doesn't do them nearly as much as she'd like to. About three years ago, Schumacher was diagnosed with lupus. Lupus is an immune system disorder that causes the body to attack its own cells. Right away, doctors prescribed the drug hydroxychloroquine. Schumacher says it's been magical, but that all changed last month when she received a letter from Kaiser. They said effective immediately, we're having your dose. Instead of two hydroxychloroquine pills a day, Schumacher was instructed to take only one. She noticed a change almost immediately. I got a migraine headache that put me in bed for 30 hours. The next thing that happened was extreme pain in all my joints and swelling. Schumacher's discomfort ultimately stems from a shortage of hydroxychloroquine. Premier Inc., a healthcare improvement company, reports a 260% spike in sales in the first two weeks of March. People are stockpiling the drug, thinking it can prevent COVID-19, an idea pushed by President Trump. I think it gives you an additional level of safety, but you can ask many doctors are in favor of it. Many frontline workers won't go there unless they have the hydroxy. It actually really upset me because he's so flippant about it. Schumacher is disgusted because there's no evidence that hydroxychloroquine can prevent the coronavirus. In fact, the Oregon Board of Pharmacy has gone so far as to adopt a temporary emergency rule prohibiting dispensing the drug for prevention of COVID-19. The fact that needs to happen at all leaves Schumacher in disbelief, really. It is upsetting. She hopes people understand hydroxychloroquine is not FDA approved to treat COVID-19, but it is a proven treatment for lupus and other illnesses. If you need it, you really do need it. And we shouldn't just be handing it out to people because they think there might be a benefit. Two other people in April Schumacher's family have been diagnosed with lupus, including a cousin who she says died from it. So you can understand why she's so concerned by the hydroxychloroquine shortage and hoping the excitement surrounding the drug subsides. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.